You gotta make sure my audience is mature, because we're gonna be talking about mature themes. It looks like I got a new message from Sam, which I will read soon. I'm not really too sure what this game is about. Zero did suggest that I play this, so I will be playing this. Uh, the only thing I read on Steam was that something about my relationship having to survive the night, and it's a visual novel. So let's get started. I'm just process. I'm gonna have to do these voices, huh? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, do I have a limited amount of time? Hey there, how's my favorite regular? You look a little confused. Can I help you with something? I don't know if I press it or if I press it and then press enter. Well, we're gonna find out. Let me make my decision first. Yeah, what's the pink thing with all the words in it? Ha, huh. it's weird, right? That's how you talk. Change what you say by using up and down. I don't feel powerful. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Great. Now that you can use words, What's your poison tonight, cutie? Oh, am I a girl? Oh, I didn't Okay, my fault, my fault. That doesn't change anything I already said, but I didn't process that I was a girl. Uh, let me get some, uh, whiskey on the rocks. With a kick. I don't even know your name, honestly, so, you know. I'm get it in five tiny shot glasses. Okay, whiskey straight up in five tiny shot glasses. I don't know bar lingo. I don't know how that works. Whiskey straight up in five tiny shot glasses. Why she looks so terrified? Are you joking? I've had this bar a long time, and I ain't never heard of an order like that. It's good to make sure you're ready for anything. No, no, no. I like this one. I like to keep you on your toes, yeah. Ha. Well, thanks for sharpening my mixing skills. Where's that girl you used to bring around? The special ed teacher. Samantha, right? Uh, she, Sam, my girlfriend. Uh, I don't know which one she is. I'm pretty sure I'm a girl. It looks like I'm a girl, but you know, I want to keep my I want to keep my options open. So I'm gonna say Sam is Sam is usually hesitant to join me. Oh yeah, it makes sense why I haven't seen her pretty face more often. What's her deal anyway? Real quick, can I slow down the text speed? Cause I'm sorry, I just I just can't read that fast. Sam experienced some social anxiety. Oh, deals with some social anxiety. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Sam deals with some social anxiety. Sorry to hear about that. I won't pry any further there. I gotta get back to work now. Go talk to some other folks. There's a hunk over there that looks familiar. Like I've seen him here with you back in the day. And I see this guy that's been checking you out since you walked in. What you gonna do next? Uh, I'm actually gonna go have a drink with my friend over there. Wait, am I not having whiskey? Did I not get my five shots of whiskey? Let's go see my friend over there. I hope that snack comes to talk to me too at some point. Enjoy your night. What's up, love? Okay, so this is my girlfriend. My fault. Just finished cooking your favorite noodle soup for Din Din. When are you coming home? Okay, we're at a bar, so we're clearly at least 21. Why are we saying Din Din, though? So she doesn't know I'm at the bar. If I tell her I'm at the bar, of course, you can go to bars alone, but going to bars alone is usually for single people, right? Damn, I'm out drinking right now. Drinking again? Okay, don't slurp too many drinks down tonight when you could be slurping nudes with me. Okay, Sam. Should I turn the music down or off? I don't think I want to add my own music, if I'm being honest. I kind of like this. Don't worry, we can slurp nudes hey, later. Yo. Okay, see you later tonight. But until then, keep me company through text. How are things going at the bar tonight? Well, I didn't get my drinks yet, so I just ordered. And the bartender asked about you. Oh, that's nice. I've always kind of related to her. She has all the pressure running her family business and no family support. And for me, outside of my brother, you're the only family in my life. That's kind of sad. Anyways, I do like how you can actually choose. Like, I know a lot of visual novels give you choices. I've never seen one like this where you can actually choose how to combine the sentence. Wow, you're important to me too? If I were you that committed to- Nah. It's all kind of weak. I'm gonna say you're really important to me too. I guess that's all I really can say. Yeah, I don't have emojis. I feel comfortable with you. You support me in ways my actual relatives never did. You never talk about, I guess your family, right? I'd like to hear about you never talk about or I don't know much about. I'm gonna say I don't know much about your family. Let's just say Midwest, Betty and Ed weren't super supportive. They didn't really dig having goth, having a goth daughter that liked girls. So who's Betty and Ed? Oh, having a goth daughter that likes girls. Okay, okay, this, these are her parents, my fault. So your parents, this would be acted like you were a burden, but I won't. I could say that, I could say that. Hold on, which GNT? Is that supposed to be like AT&T? What does AT&T even stand for? American Telephone and Telegraph? That makes sense. I'm not a big fan of sweating around strangers. No, I don't mind that. I guess I just haven't been to the gym in a while. I'm trying to play some DDR. Couples cardio is kind of like having a dance revolution. A gym date could be fun like that too. You could use some exercise anyway. Dang. 
don't think you had to say that. Sick burn, babe, you know. Oh, that's a good one. I'm not gonna lag behind while you get buff. I like that. I like that. I got an achievement for that. Yeah, get ready to pump some iron with me, baby. We're gonna do it. I like doing stuff together. BRB. Okay, uh, where's that? Oh, you're Michael, right? Hey, guess who's back in your neck of the woods? Dante? Okay. I was gonna say either Michael or... Like, I don't know, Justin, Jamal, Jordan, something like that, right? Chris. He could look like Chris. Dante. What are you doing here? Yeah, that, look, that looks right, right? Dante, what are you doing here? I quit my IT job last month and came home for a role in a new off- Something about Broadway. I figured I'd surprise everybody in my old hangouts. Didn't expect to see you here, though. I didn't expect this option to not do anything. I figured when I said slower, it would actually be slower. This is some good music, too. A Michael B. Jordan wannabe? Does he look like Michael B. Jordan? I, I didn't even think of Michael B. Jordan when I saw him. It's not every night I come across a Michael B. Jordan wannabe. An ex? Did we date? I didn't even see that. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Would this be a bad start though? I'm gonna do it anyway. You used to be a big fan of this Michael B. Jordan wannabe. Ha, you never did understand my vision, but you always did support me. I have such good memories of us as a couple. What happened to us? I don't know what happened to us. It was definitely your fault that just sort of drifted away. You made a bunch of dumb mistakes. Nah, nah, nah. We gotta take we gotta take the full blame on this one. I guess we just sort of drifted away, right? Guess that would make sense. I guess that just happens sometimes, but it seems like you've grown since then. Your new boo is lucky to have you. Does he know who Sam is? I'm gonna say my girlfriend, since she is my girlfriend. Since I've got confirmation that she is my girlfriend now. My girlfriend is something special, yeah. I like that. It was weird at first to hear you were dating a woman, but I'm super happy for you and I hope it all works out. It was nice seeing you again. Stay in touch this time around. Cutie, I'm bored. What are you doing? Uh, hold up, real quick. Real, can we can we talk about what just happened though? Apparently Dante and I used to date. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna say talking to an old friend. Why would you say chilling with my ex? <laughs> what? Nah. Talking to an old friend. She's probably gonna ask who it is, I'm assuming. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, is it weird having your ex come back around? I don't really know what it's like to interact with an old flame. Okay, so she knows it's my ex, I'm guessing. Exes are definitely a big deal to me. No. Oh, there you go. Exes are not really something I think about often. Oh, that's a lie. Um, it's not really a big deal to me. How about that? That, that looks good. Okay, so the question is, is it weird having your ex come back around? I think this should be fun. It's kind of funny to me. Oh, wow. Lol. I can't say I was expecting that. I know. I wasn't either. My only other real relationship experience ended with me getting dumped out of nowhere, so my brain has a real negative reaction when it comes to exes. Do I have water I can sip loudly into the mic? It happens to the best of us. Um, see me personal. I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. So do you think you should... Take these concerns to someone else? No. No, 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 no. I say, I hope you let those feelings out sometimes. I don't think I'm saying the right things. Yeah, it might be better if I just talk about it. Talk to me about it. I didn't know it at the time, but my ex was rediscovering parts of her sexuality when we were dating. It eventually led to her leaving me for some guy she used to hook up with. And it just felt like it was out of nowhere. I wouldn't even know how to react. No, no, no. I guess how did you react to that? Yeah. We know how you felt. You're clearly sad. Nah, nah. I'm worried about... I'm thinking how you, how did you react to that? Honestly. I reacted poorly to it all. I just got an achievement. I reacted poorly to it all. I was in college, but I was still just a kid. I said some really mean things to her just to make her feel bad and never spoke to her again. I'm not proud of that version of me. I hope it gets easier to come to terms with what happened. You gotta deal with it. You gotta move on. I know you're not trying to hear these words. Sometimes you need to hear these words, but I'm sure she knows she has to move on. I, w I want to support. I want to be a little more supportive with the words I say, so it must be hard to come to terms with what happened. I try every day. I really do. Sorry for the stream of emotions. I think I'm done talking about this now. I had a really rough time at work today. Can I tell you about it? Of course. Let's talk now. Wait, would I leave the bar if I say talk now versus text about it? I would assume saying talk now indicates that we're going to do it through text since she's clearly not at the bar. Thanks. Heart, that's not an emoji. I don't know what year this is. Even her name doesn't have an emoji next to it. It's just the heart symbol. Yeah, tell me about your work. I don't know I don't know what you do. Two of my students just got into a huge fight and it made me feel like I'm such a bad teacher. Is that the classroom culture that I created? Was this my fault? Sometimes I just wonder if all this struggle is worth it. You know what? I think sometimes. I think you shouldn't feel like it's your fault. I know, I try to remind myself that sometimes this stuff gets real hard. Who just... Hey, you're too hot to handle, right? 
It's me, Daddy hey, Baycare. Yo, you can fuck? call me Jimmy. Who are you? I don't know who Daddy Baycare is. Are those AirPods, bro? Or is that an earring? What is this build right now? Sorry, Jimmy, but I'm sure you got the wrong person. I'd still swipe right on you if, if you, you know, know what, what I mean. mean. How do I say I have a girlfriend? Wow, that's... No, it's actually kind of sweet. It's kind of sweet, but um, that's also kind of weird, to be honest. So I'm not going to say this because I know I can't say it sarcastically. If there was like a sarcastic option, I would choose it. I'm going to say sweet. I'm going to still say sweet. You think I'm sweet? No, no. I thought what you said was sweet. I'll take that as a win. Maybe we can explore this a little more another time later. We, we will not explore this another time. Do you ever spend time with strangers when you're out at the bar? I guess at face value, there's really no difference between chatting with folks and talking to people. But sounds fun. Did people ever try to hit on you? Yes. yes. I think that might make Sam worried, knowing what Sam went through now, but I'm gonna still say yeah. I'm gonna say sometimes. Sometimes I deal with flirty people. Blah, that's weird. How do you deal with it? I usually just flirt back. That's not gonna go over well. Okay, if I say I usually shoo them away, it's like, what happens when you don't shoo them away? I never flirt back. I guess that would be kind of like deliberately reassuring her. I'm gonna say I always shoo them away. Yeah, that's probably the safest approach. Be safe out there. I will. Seriously. I will. I was just thinking about how you got the bar a lot. Do you feel it's healthy? Um, no. Healthy is a weird way to put it, but it's not the best sometimes. I don't know how often people usually go to the bar. I've never been to a bar before. I imagine that, you know, people go there to wind down for the day or something like that. I'm gonna say not the best sometimes. Wow, then why even go? I just sort of wonder if you just like being around all the drunk cuties while I'm home alone. I'm not obsessing over cuties. See. What I like is they give you an option to completely destroy your relationship. Like something like this, they give you the option to completely just destroy everything you've built up off camera. But, like I said, I'm gonna go the route where I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna stay loyal. I already have a girlfriend. I'm gonna say I'm not obsessing over cuties. It's not even really about that. What's it about? I'm assuming it's the fact that you're not here, right? I'm just really scared that you're out there dreading to have to come back to me at night. You have to let go of us? It's stuff like this. You can just shatter your whole relationship by your own doing with a single text. I'm gonna say you should just have faith in us. No, no, you have to trust us. No, no, because this is more so about me, right? You have to have faith in me. I do. I guess she's just scared, right? My confidence is something I continuously have to work on. Me too, me too. Anxiety can be a real turret though, I agree. Whatever, so let that mindset come between us. You can really try to destroy your relationship. I'm gonna say don't instead of try not to. I think try not to is more comforting, but don't let that mindset come between us. Yeah, I know. When I have concerns like this, it's easier for me to text rather than say it out loud. Speaking of which, I know we've been texting more tonight than usual. I just wanna know if we're doing all right. <clears throat> We need to talk. Maybe we should get some things out in the air. Maybe we should deal with this. I don't know, honestly. I would rather not say any of this stuff. I'm gonna say maybe we should talk. I, I know how it sounds. I know how it sounds. I'm gonna say maybe we should talk. Yeah, we should talk. I want to know what we need to do keep going forward. What our direction is, how the relationship is doing. This is talking about relationships. I don't think I'm good at I don't think I'm good at this stuff. <laughs> uh because I feel like sometimes you might not I, I feel like I feel like somebody could easily change my opinion on this stuff. I'ma just say what I think right now, right? I mean uh, sometimes you don't really need a direction for your relationship. I feel like sometimes just enjoying each other's company would be enough. Of course there are problems on top of that that could occur. Maybe you enjoy each other's company, but this or that is a continuous issue. But I think for the most part, you don't really need like directions or goals with the relationship. It's really just about enjoying each other's company and being happy with each other. I think for that reason alone, I want to say how the relationship is doing. But I know she's thought about it. And I know she cares about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask, this is some good music. Oh my god. Have you thought about how the relationship is doing? I'm gonna ask anyway. I think that's just the best option. Good question. I feel like saying we need to work on a few things would be okay, but how long have we been dating? That's a good question. That's the question we should start with. How long have we actually been dating? I don't want to say our relationship is missing something because I feel like I feel like it could be missing something, but I I definitely don't want to say that, so I feel like saying that we need to work on a few things would probably be a good start. I'm thinking about it from the other perspective, right? When I say we need to work on a few things, it seems like I'm mainly just saying she needs to work on a few things. I've been thinking that today's been a little weird, but I'm overall happy. I think this would be the safest option, but because I'm, I'm given so little information about our relationship right now. I think I should remind everybody right now this game had mixed reviews on Steam. I've been thinking that we need to work on a few things. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Don't try hard enough. Don't say that. Need to work harder? Feel off track? Need more time to grow? I want to be okay. I'm gonna say need to communicate better. We just need to communicate better. Okay. What is that achievement? Hold on. Okay, I've been thinking more about that 
all that time you spend at the bar and I feel like it'll be good if you spent time somewhere else too. Do you have any friends that you can hang out with? I have you! Where? Where's the option at? I can't really think of friends to hang out with. I bet you have a ton of people you can call up. <sighs> no, not really. I got about a solid three or four on a good day. You're such a people person when you're at the bar, you definitely made some friends they're worth reaching out to that's not a bad idea i do meet lots of people at a bar though no I, actually actually a bar is a pretty good dang a bar is actually a pretty good place to meet people maybe i could be wrong again i've never been to a bar all right i could be wrong i'm saying maybe you're right i do meet lots of people yeah i think this will be good for you what what just happened sam still wishes you had more time for her but with new friendship budding between you and Jimmy, wait, instead, wait, she is happy that your time is now hanging out with him instead of drinking at bars. Any experts right now? You don't even have to be an expert. You're just anybody smarter than me. No matter of fact, just anybody, anybody at all. Um... Let me know where I messed up. I I might look back and I might realize, you know, hey, that's where you messed up right there. I, I didn't want to hang out with anybody else at the bar. I wanted to hang out with her. I, I, I did my best. There's nine endings. I got ending number seven. Dang, Sam got to be devastated now. Anyways, I did what I could. I did what I could. I still don't know where I messed up, but I did what I could. I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but please let me know where I messed up. I'm so confused.